Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, we shall do an experiment to demonstrate the transistor as a switch. We'll be using an NPN transistor, which looks like this. Uh, it's a BC547 transistor, BC47. And if you see the transistor, it has a cut end or a flat surface and a blunt surface. Hold the transistor such that the flat surface is facing you. If you do that, then the leftmost terminal is the collector, the middle is the base and the rightmost is the emitter. Collector, base, emitter. Okay. Now, before we use this transistor, it is always better to check whether the transistor is healthy or not. For that, you can use a multimeter and measure its uh, HFE. Uh, forward current gain it's also known as beta for that rotate this till you face HFE uh, there must be some loose connection sometimes the low battery will do that problem keep it at HFE then insert the transistor in this groove it's an NPN transistor inserts out the collector base emitter remember this is the collector base emitter. Hence, I'll hold this and I will insert the transistor is here. And if you do so, you will be able to see the HFE value. It is 373 for this transistor. That means that indicates it's healthy. If it is zero, then the transistor, transistor is not healthy. Better not to use that. Okay. Now, let us use this transistor to or demonstrate the circuit use uh, application of transistor as a switch remember collector base emitter now let us connect the transistor on the breadboard let me connect it like this here and three adjacent grooves will do remember collector base emitter now in your circuit uh, I'm using a, this power supply as the base input power supply, this as the collector power supply or the uh, bias power supply. From the positive of the base power supply, a resistance is to be connected, a 4.7 kilo ohm resistance. This is a 4.7 kilo ohm resistance. You can identify its value by using color code. And let me connect the positive to some point here, whichever that is okay for you. From there, you this should go to base, hence the midpoint. From here to here, now I have connected this resistance between the positive terminal of the input and the base. You can see that this is the base transistor and the positive terminal of the input. The negative terminal of the uh, input power supply is connected as the ground, say here. Now, from positive terminal of the collector pass, collector power supply or the bias power supply, we are supposed to connect a resistance, a 470 ohm resistance. Let us connect it somewhere here. Okay, wherever you want. This is a 470 ohm resistor. Okay, positive terminal is connected to one of the terminal. And from the other terminal, I will be connecting a LED. LED, remember, we, have, we know that the shorter is the P-type, longer is the N-type. Hence, the shorter will go here and the longer should be connected to collector. Oh, this is a little far from here. Let's shall try and reach the collector. Okay. Yes, we reached the collector. Now, the emitter terminal must be grounded. The emitter is the leftmost. This must be connected to the ground. And the negative terminal of the collector bias power supply is also connected to the ground. That's it. It's a very simple circuit. And to measure the voltage, a voltmeter is being used. The voltmeter, in, uh, multimeter is being used as a voltmeter here. The positive terminal of 
this multimeter is connected to the collector point. Collector point is here. I have I am connecting the positive terminal here. The negative terminal of the, the voltmeter is grounded, is connected to the common ground point where the emitter is connected, the negative of both input power supply as well as the bias power supply are connected. That is this. This completes the circuit. Let us switch on the voltmeter as well as the power supply. And before you switch on the power supply, make sure you minimize the cores and fine in both and then turn it on. Okay. Before everything, set the bias power supply, that is this one from which we have given the connection to the collector to be 10 volt. Do we really have to do it at 10 volt? No, not exactly. Uh, Anyway, 10, 12, 8, 9, any voltage will do. I am maintaining at 10 volt. It's 9.9. Okay. Now, now the input voltage is varied in steps. And node and corresponding voltage in the output or corresponding uh, voltage in the multimeter is noted down. Now, the input voltage is 0.1. The output is 8.5, 8.4 something. Okay, increase the input voltage to say 0 0.2, 0 0.2, the voltage remains almost the same, LED is not glowing, LED is not glowing or the, that indicates the transistor is in off state, okay, increase the voltage to 0.3 LED is still off, the transistor is still behaving like an off state switch, the output is 8.43 volt and increase the voltage to say 0 0.4, 0 0.4, output is still 8.47 and LED is not glowing, the transistor is behaving like an off state switch, it is behaving like a switch but in off state. Now the voltage is 0.5, transistor is will off, output is 8.4. I will make it 0.6, transistor is still, still off, there is a, a small fluctuation, output is point, input is 0.6, off, output voltage is 8.13. And I'll make the voltage 0.7. You can note down as soon as you reach the 0.7, LED started glowing. And output voltage decreased a little bit. That means up to 0.7 volt of input, the transistor was in off state. As soon as the input voltage crossed 0.7, the transistor became on and LED is glowing. This 0.7 is the barrier voltage of the PN junction in the transistor because it's the, the material used is silicon, the voltage is 0.7. If you use different material, transistor made using different material, you will get a different values. Now increase the voltage, say, say 0.8 volt, the LED still remain glowing and the output voltage is decreasing, not down. Even if for a very small increase in the voltage, the output voltage decreases greatly. Again, increase the voltage to 0 0.9, output voltage is 3 point something, 0 0.1.0, the output voltage is 0 0.4 something. And increase the voltage, so it's 1.1, 2, 1 1.1, milli old. please note down the milli, it means it's around 0 0.2 volt. For any increased in voltage now, 1.2, 1 1.3, 1 1.4, 1 1.5, the voltage has decreased to a very small value. The voltage is coming in millivolts. That means current is flowing, but the output voltage is minimum. 
and note on there is a minus sign the minus sign indicates that there is a phase reversal in this common emitter configuration of the transistor the input and outputs are out of phase if you are giving positive input output will be negative instead if you give input as negative the output will be positive okay this demo up to 0.7 volt the transistor behave like an off state switch and beyond 0.7 volt the transistor is behaving like an on state switch the transistor the switch behavior of the transistor is controlled by the input voltage further up to 0.7 volt the output voltage was almost a constant and that region is called as cut off region of the transistor and from 0.7 to around 1.1 volt 1.1 or 1.2 volt the voltage output voltage decreased rapidly even for a small increase in the input voltage that region represents the active region where the transistor can be used as an amplifier and beyond 1.2 1.3 volt the voltage has become very small about 1.0 0.1 volt even if you increase the input voltage the output voltage becomes very small see for about 3.5 volt it is just 0.07 volt or 78 milli volt this region is known as saturation in cut off region both for uh, emitter base junction and for collector base junction of the transistor are in reverse bias in a uh, saturation mode both emitter base junction and collector base junction are in forward bias and in active region emitter base junction is forward bias and collector base junction is reverse bias and you can also calculate the amplification factor or beta forced using the same circuit for that you have to measure the voltage across the base resistance as well as collector resistance this is and by taking the ratio of the uh, collector current to the base current you can determine the beta value okay thank you i hope this was helpful thank you very much